Yes, that's kind of it. Uh, that's that's where Continental came from, basically, is I had Southeastern, and then I saw what was happening, and uh, so I combined the two businesses, uh, changed the name to Continental. I started doing a show in the, in our main arena with five 6,000 people. It made a big difference in the product I was out there, and it made me harder to compete with for events, and it probably helped me to last a little longer than most, and... I probably uh, might have still been into wrestling had I not got into, I actually got into hockey after wrestling and, and uh, owned a couple of minor league hockey teams. And I've done a little bit of everything. I owned AGT dealership, had one of the most successful in the country, located in Tampa here. And it's just, uh, I've done a lot of things in my life uh, and I've been lucky. Most of them I've been pretty successful at yeah, very successful. And the outside wrestling ventures is definitely something that's kind of cool that, you know, you're able to prove you're not just all about wrestling. You can actually really make some money and really be a smart, wise businessman. But as far as uh, Continental goes and, and kind of trying to compete against Vince, was that kind of like an uphill battle where you're like, man, it's going to be really hard to compete against this guy who has a pretty strong stranglehold as it was? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, if you're a pretty smart guy, you see at that point, when when, when Vince got national television, then obviously he's going to be, uh, he's in the driver's seat. Uh, everything was regionalized uh, for many, many years. The National Relaxing Alliance is part of all of that. And everybody ran their own operations, but they tried not to put their television programs in somebody else's area because it, uh, it was just not, done. And uh, Vince changed all that, obviously got the national program, and then he started to buy talent. Basically, he was picking up the best wrestlers in certain areas. And then he would take those guys back to wrestle against the guys that had developed them. And I developed a lot of talent for him, too, that he he did very well with. Uh, and like a lot of other territories, uh, Hulk Hogan came from me. Uh, Honky Tonk Man came from me. Arn Anderson came from me. Uh, there's a lot of guys that we developed, young guys and stars that went on to work for Vince. And it made it really hard when Vince wanted to bring those guys back and use them against you. Uh, we had some success against Vince early on. I mean, we, we, we figured out how to compete with him as, as best we could. And one of them in particular, he ran his matches in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, on two sets of the two sides of the freeway, Interstate 20. There, there's a building that holds about 15,000. The convention center, across the street from it, was the building we were running in. It held about 8,000. Called Boutwell. He ran on the same night we did. Uh, he brought Hulk. He brought Honky Tonk. He brought several different guys that we had developed, and people knew those guys. And the same night, we had a two-ring battle royal. We lowered our ticket prices. We actually drew, we, uh, Hogan came over because they were friends. Uh, Honky Tonk worked for me for a long time. Hogan worked for me for a long time. They came over to watch our matches. They had 2,000 people and we had 9,000. Mm. So, you know, they were like astounded. They were like, wow, how did you do this, man? How are you doing this? How did you draw this up a house? And we're right across the street. So, I mean, we tried to, we tried to compete, but... I had a feeling that it was kind of like I could see the writing on the wall. Uh, it was not going to work, and you weren't going to be able to compete with him, and it weren't going to beat him. I could have maybe done so, and, uh, so far as that. I had an opportunity in 1985. I had a company that took Continental Wrestling, and they sold it in the Middle East for me. And they got really hot on my talent and my program, and they had a connection with NBC same thing where Vince went, and uh, I, they talked to me, and they said, Ron, they're looking for a national TV show. Your program is great. You've got super talent. We want to try to get you on, and I turned them down because I was a member of the NWA, and I couldn't see how if I became a national product and uh, how everybody else in the National Wrestling Alliance would have been scared to, to death of me and they uh, they, it would have made my life difficult, and I chose at that point to turn down the opportunity to, to make a run at that, and, Vince, and the rest pretty much history. Um, 
And, the, you know, I'm not really pleased with where the wrestling business is today. I mean, you know, had it been handled there, someone else had got their foot in that door and handled it differently. I think it could be a whole different product than what it has become with Vince. So do you follow current wrestling today? Or are you watching it or you don't really care too much about it? I don't watch it. Uh, I've watched it a few times for a few minutes, but I mean, it's, it's so far removed from the old style that it just, I don't see it. I mean, I, it just doesn't happen to, for me. And then, you know, fans that old style fans, and there are so many of them I'm finding by doing my stud cast and the response I get, there are so many fans, old timers, old school that just, cannot get into what Vince does and and that's who I race basically talk to. That's who I I bring back names of them for them that they haven't heard and I since I traveled everywhere, I wrestle in Japan and Australia, Canada, Mexico and uh Europe and Africa. Uh, I've got great I've been everywhere. So, you know, I have a I have a real feel for talent all over the world and what it was back in the old day. And once I got out in 1988 and sold Continental, I, uh, within two years or less than two years, I, I owned two hockey teams and, and I was totally in a different direction. Really never looked back. I mean, I really enjoyed hockey too. That's a tremendous sport in itself. 